Texas, you'll know the best days to be on the ice or when there will be fresh powder on the trails. The WJFW Weather Watch app is available in your app store now. Sponsored by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Weather Watch 12, from where you live. Phillips Winterfest is almost here. Start the fun with the Price County Tavern League Tour. Win up to $1,100 in cash prizes. Shop participating businesses and register to win gift baskets. Enjoy the candlelight walk Friday night. On Saturday, register for the ice fishing contest with potential $1,000 cash prize in five categories. Saturday's evening events include the snowmobile parade and fireworks. Win up to $1,500 in the Winterfest raffle. Welcome to Winterfest. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. Replace your problem windows and save big with this limited time offer and attractive financing. Call Renewal by Anderson today. You're watching News Watch 12. News from where you live. Right now on News Watch 12 today, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services announced that everyone in Wisconsin over the age of 65 will be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine starting Monday. We'll have the details. Plus. We're starting off very cold this morning, but windy conditions are on the way. Your full forecast is coming up. We want to make sure that, uh, that there's no issues at all and that those properly get looked into. And at least a dozen National Guard members are removed from inauguration duty in a preemptive move as tensions remain high in Washington, D.C. during the transition of power. It's Wednesday, January 20th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning and thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Marissa Silvis here with Peter Dubois. Thank you for joining us on this inauguration day. And it's also a very chilly start to our day. Peter, you told me that uh, it's you know the coldest that you've really felt kind of going outside this winter. It really was, Marissa. We've been talking about this roller coaster in temperatures this week. We are definitely going down the roller coaster this morning. It was just frigid and I think it was below zero when I uh, came into work this morning. Well, for a look at those temperatures, let's head right on over to our weather center and Devin Biggs in for a first check of our forecast. And Devin, uh, very, very chilly out there. Uh, my heater keeps uh, kicking on here at home. Yeah, I'd be very, I'm kind of jealous to not be at home to just kind of cuddle under the blankets this morning. But yeah, it's a little chilly out there this morning, but it's not going to stay that way. Courtesy of some gusty winds, so kind of a blessing and a curse. The winds will get gusty, but it's going to help usher in some warmer air. Let's show you the setup right now. So we have clouds starting to move in from the north and west. That low pressure system in Canada has a very tight pressure gradient. And basically, to simplify things, it's going to get windy with a southwest wind at times today, which will make these temperatures go up. Right now, they're below zero in many spots, three below in Rhinelander, six below in Medford, a little warmer to the south, but not by much, four degrees in Wisconsin Rapids. Your remote learning forecast, a chilly one today, starting off below zero. We will warm up into the lower 20s by the afternoon period. Your full forecast is coming up. Thanks, Devin. President-elect Joe Biden's inaugural events will kick off today amid heightened security. In a major departure from previous inaugurations, most of the events will be taking place virtually because of the pandemic. President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be sworn in on the west front of the U.S. Capitol building later this morning. After they take their oaths of office, the new president, Joe Biden, will deliver an inaugural address laying out his vision for his presidency. President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris will also visit Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. They'll be joined by President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, President George W. Bush and Laura Bush, and President Bill Clinton and Secretary Hillary Clinton. President Trump will head to his Florida residence early this morning, and he will not be attending the inauguration. Tensions do remain high in Washington, D.C., two weeks after domestic terrorists stormed the U.S. Capitol in an attempt to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Defense officials are reassuring the nation that the forces providing security for President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration are vetted to ensure that they do not have any ties to extremist groups. John Lawrence has our report. 
Less than 24 hours before Joe Biden becomes the 46th president of the United States, at least 12 Army National Guard members are no longer part of Wednesday's inauguration security detail. We're out of an abundance of caution taking action and uh, immediately removing them from, from the line of duty uh, at the Capitol and the events taking place. Defense officials weren't specific about what led to the removals, but said a betting process revealed these individuals previously made inappropriate comments or displayed questionable behavior. We want to make sure that uh, that there's no issues at all and that those properly get looked into. There are approximately 25,000 National Guard troops in Washington, D.C., focused on keeping the area safe during the transition of power. We are taking steps to uh, to ensure that uh, there's no, no concerns. Uh, the American people should have confidence in the National Guard. Acting Secretary of Defense Christopher Miller said Monday there's no intelligence indicating an insider threat to the inauguration. Biden, addressing a crowd of supporters in his home state on Tuesday, said he's ready to lead the country. I'm truly honored to be your next president and commander in chief. And I'll always be a proud son of the state of Delaware. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Efforts to uncover and eliminate extremism within the military started prior to the riot at the Capitol earlier this month. However, there has been an increased urgency in doing so since the siege. Well, on Tuesday, Governor Tony Evers reinstated the mask mandate in Wisconsin, extending it to March 20th. Evers also signed a new public health emergency executive order that designates uh, Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services as the lead agency in the response to the ongoing pandemic. The latest uh, mask, the last mask mandate, excuse me, did expire on Tuesday, and currently the Supreme Court is looking into a lawsuit that challenges the mandate. Governor Evers said that as we work to get more people around the state vaccinated, we have to work together to stop the spread of COVID-19 today by wearing our masks. And on Tuesday, the U.S. as a whole passed 400,000 all-time deaths from COVID-19. That's according to the latest numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Wisconsin itself has reported about 5,500 deaths related to the virus. And on Tuesday, Oneida County alone announced four new deaths. That's 53 in Oneida County for the pandemic. On Tuesday, DHS reported 42 new deaths across the state, which is roughly uh, about our average for the last week or so. And the state encourages everyone to look at that seven-day average to limit the effects of day-to-day -day fluctuations. The seven-day average for new, new cases has been dropping for 10 straight days now, including about 1,500 new cases reported yesterday. Hospitalization numbers are also slowly trending down. DHS reports right now 82 people in our 12 county north central wisconsin region in the hospital with covid 19 20 of whom are in the icu taking a closer look at our local numbers the united county health department reported eight new cases its active total is at 101. price county reported 10 new cases one new case in forest county and in langland county nine new cases in lincoln county since friday marathon county reports 151 new cases its active total is nearly 1100 16 new cases in Portage County, its active total at 150. Vilas, Iron, Clark, and Wood Counties did not report. The State Department of Health Services has announced everyone in Wisconsin over age 65 will be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine starting on Monday. DHS officials say prioritizing the older population will help save lives. The numbers have shown that demographic is significantly more likely to be hospitalized or worse if they catch COVID-19. However, the health department cautioned how quickly they can vaccinate people all depends on how many doses they receive from the federal government. There are currently 700,000 people over age 65 in Wisconsin, and right now the state receives just about 70,000 doses of first dose vaccine every week. Frontline health care workers, those in long term health care or care facilities, police and fire personnel are all eligible for the vaccine. Many areas will begin planning vaccination clinics in the near future. To sign up for your vaccine, contact your county's health department. And to date, almost 250,000 doses of the vaccine have been administered across the state, including about 8,000 on Monday. The Department of Health Services reporting about 40,000 people in the state have completed their series, meaning they received their second shot as well.
And the new age qualifications come as Aspirus is beginning to ramp up their own facilities to begin community vaccinations. So far, Aspirus says they've distributed about 7,000 doses across the state so far. The clinic is currently in the planning period with county health officials figuring out how they can best distribute vaccine doses to the public. We anticipate having to um, really help, you know, the health department that they probably will not have the ability to vaccinate in large amounts. We know what our county's um, demographics look like and, and we'll need to plan on that, um, you know, those kind of numbers. And much like they mentioned, Aspirus says getting enough doses for this for the community may take some time. However, to make sure that distribution is done safely and given to as many people as possible, Aspirus will be expanding their clinical their clinic hours moving forward. The Wisconsin Assembly technically came together on Tuesday for Governor Evers' requested special session to modernize the state's unemployment system. They gaveled in and gaveled out, though, within seconds. Evers has called for the legislature to pass a roughly $5 million bill to help fix the backlog of unemployment claims in the state, a topic many Republicans have criticized Evers for not fixing. However, they believe he should fix the problem himself without a new bill. Well, coming up next in our international news, Nigeria is waiting for its first shipment of the COVID vaccine, which could take several more weeks to arrive. Plus, Europe's largest active volcano erupted, sending lava and ash into the air. We'll have those stories and more news from around the world when we come back. Let A Street Auto show you how easy it is to buy quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. At A Street Auto, we believe in fair prices, superior service, and treating our customers the right way. Our like new used vehicles offer low mileage and all the features that you're looking for in your next ride. We're here for you before, during, and after the sale, and you've got our word on that. Stop in to see our great line of pre-owned vehicles or visit us at 8streetauto.com today. Come on down to Wisconsin Rapids to get your deal of the day. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. With over 40 filtration systems, including the world's best softener, no one filters more than Culligan Water, the only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the Northwoods. With in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. Owner and designer Sarah has over 20 years of experience, overseen 500 plus projects, and built strong relationships with local contractors providing superior installation. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. Winning Motor Trend Truck of the Year three times in a row, that had never been done before. Then again, neither had a 12-inch touchscreen or a 1,000 pound-feet of torque or a truck-winning luxury car of the year. So winning once will always be a proud moment. Twice, an accomplishment. Three times, well, never been done before. It's just kind of our thing. Right now, get 0% financing for 72 months or 7,300 in total values on the 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Marilyn Million Justice. Just stop. What you don't know about the law would fill a library. Pay the man. The People's Court. 37 years, 37 years. That's how long Tomahawk Sew and Vac has been serving the Northwoods for all your sewing and vacuuming needs. And they want to say thank you by giving up to 37% off. Yep, 37% off for their 37th anniversary sale. Tomahawk Sew and Vac is the authorized Auric and Dyson vacuum cleaner dealer of Northern Wisconsin and an authorized brother dealer as well for sewing, embroidery, and quilting machines. And they service everything they sell. Tomahawk Sew and Vac's 37th year anniversary sale. Downtown Tomahawk. And welcome back. So here we are. We've made it to Wednesday already, Inauguration Day. And the weather is starting off very chilly here in our backyard this morning. We have clouds moving in from the northwest to the south and east. Has a low pressure system, but a pretty strong one is heading in our direction. It's in Canada right now. And it's weird to say this low pressure system in Canada is actually going to help warm us up. Let's, let's explain how. So I'm going to plot the isobars here. And the way this is set up is mainly a warm front. So it's going to have a southwest and northeast wind 
and it's very stacked. So that means it's going to get very windy throughout the daytime today with gusts up to 40 miles per hour at times. So the wind gusts may not feel nice. That wind chill is going to be brutal out there, but it's going to help usher in some warmer temperatures. A high of 30 degrees actually will not get hit till close to midnight tonight. So we'll make it to the 20s during the afternoon period, but the high temperature hitting later on tonight, then those winds will continue into Thursday as the low pressure system moves through from a northwest to southeasterly flow. So throughout the day, Thursday and Friday, temperatures will be falling. Right now, yeah, we're below zero this morning, but at least it's a very light breeze out there. But many of us waking up in a single digits to below zero. You apply the wind chill out there and ouch, Lando Lakes 12 below, Eagle River 13 below. So areas where there's a little bit of a wind, definitely feeling a little chilly out there. And again, we'll warm up nicely today and tomorrow. Cooling off big time Friday below average. We rarely say that these days. 17 degrees Saturday, then back closer to average Sunday and beyond. So let's break things down on future cast for today. So the clouds are moving in as well as the wind at times. We could see a few snow showers during the, the early evening period tonight that will taper off quickly. Then we'll have clouds across our northern counties, maybe some clear skies across our central and southern counties by Thursday morning before everyone gets clouds again. Now another side of this low pressure system will move through, sending another front through. That could give us some more snow chances. Then once that moves through, cold temperatures will move in. And it'll get windy again, and that could give us some lake effect snow again as we head towards Friday morning. So for today, it's pretty simple. 30 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, and windy with a southwest wind up to 15 to 35 miles per hour at times. So so for tonight, 23 degrees, snow showers early. Otherwise, mostly cloudy late with that west wind at around 15 up to 25 miles per hour. A few higher gusts at times. In Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, seven-day forecast over so dry today. Some chances for you Thursday. A small chance Friday, that's that lake effect there. Saturday, we're dry. Snow chances now decreasing for Sunday into Monday, but they're still there. Temperatures in the 20s next week. Marissa? Thanks, Devin. Europe's largest active volcano put on a spectacular show on Monday night into Tuesday morning, and this tops our international news this morning. Mount Etna erupted, sending lava and rocks flying into the air. Orange streams of molten lava could be seen oozing down the slopes of the 11,000-foot peak. Lava flowed into an uninhabited valley, and ash blew over some of the nearby towns. The explosive eruption produced no risks to the local population. Mount Etna is a popular tourist destination in Sicily, and it attracts hikers eager to see its extraordinary lava flows. Etna is the largest of Italy's three active volcanoes, along with Sicily's Stromboli and Mount Vesuvius near Naples. Vesuvius last erupted in 1944. Pakistani searchers discovered the body of an American mountaineer in the Karakoram Mountains on Monday. A military helicopter located Alex Goldfarb's body during a search and rescue operation that began on Sunday. Goldfarb and another mountaineer planned to climb the 26,400-foot high broad peak, which has never been ascended in the winter without any oxygen or porters. To prepare and acclimate themselves for the climb, they began ascending nearby Pastora Peak that's 20,370 feet high. They met some harsh weather and Goldfarb's partner turned back. Goldfarb continued alone and his expedition company says that it appears that he fell off the mountain. Goldfarb was a medical doctor and also a lecturer at Harvard University. Healthcare workers in Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, say they're exhausted waiting for coronavirus vaccines. The 206 million people in this West African nation may have to wait weeks or even months for inoculations. African health authorities say the entire continent may have to wait that long. Europe has been inoculating people since early December. Nigeria requested 10 million doses from the African Union on Monday. And doctors on the front lines say that they're bracing themselves for another week of treating a long line of coronavirus patients. As the number of cases mounts, doctors say stocks of protective gear dwindle and the number of their healthy colleagues drops. The Nigerian Medical Association says more than 2,600 physicians have contracted COVID-19 and dozens of them have died. Coming up in medical news, how age and gender play a role when it comes to heart attack recovery. Plus, doctors face increasing pressure to screen all adults for tobacco use. We'll have those stories and more health news when we come back.
Four years ago, I had brain surgery to remove the tumor that was wrapped around my brain stem and spinal cord. Very intense pain in my neck, I, headaches all the time, um, and permanent vertigo. I came in and I saw Dr. Dave. He did some work on my top vertebrae. The pressure was alleviated and I can actually stand. It's been wonderful and great. When the atlas vertebra at the base of the skull is out of alignment, it causes the head to come forward, putting unnatural pressure on joints and nerves. We correct this through a new treatment called the atlas prophylax, a revolutionary way to realign the atlas, removing nerve pressure and even restoring blood flow. For many, symptoms and headaches disappear almost immediately. The first thing we do when somebody comes as a new patient is we sit down and we listen and understand what's going on to see if we can help. At r, &R Flooring and Furniture, we sell products that look good and products that last. A family-owned company that's built our business on customer service and standing behind the products we sell. You'll find Wolfcraft, Lang, Franklin, and more. Looking to get the best sleep of your life? We've got mattresses, too. Get a 15-year, non-prorated, hybrid mattress for only 25 cents a night. And we have adjustable beds. When it comes to flooring and furniture mattresses, it's easy. Come to r, &R Flooring and Furniture today. That's all it takes. When you shop and donate to Goodwill, the good starts with you. Whether you shop Goodwill for the thrill of the treasure hunt, incredible values on one-of-a-kind items, do-it-yourself project inspiration, or brand names for less, you can feel good about the impact you make. Your support keeps items out of the landfill and fuels job training and opportunities for people with barriers to employment in your community. When you shop and donate at Goodwill, Goodwill starts with you. Everybody loves popcorn and puffs, so Newswatch 12 and Minocqua Popcorn and Puffs want to help you celebrate by sending tasty birthday treats. If you want your chance to win a gourmet bucket of popcorn for your loved one, make sure to submit your entry to our birthday club at wjw.com. One lucky viewer will win a free half-gallon bucket of Minocqua Popcorn. Now, welcome back. I hope you have your winter coats today because you will need them. Temperatures starting out below zero this morning. Add the wind chill to that. It's feeling almost like 10 below in a few spots this morning. Make sure to bundle up as you head out the door. Peter? Thanks, Devin. Young people with mood disorders who use marijuana are more likely to self-harm. This tops our medical news this morning. That's according to new research from Ohio State University. The study tracked over 200,000 youth with a diagnosed mood disorder for one year. It showed those who used marijuana had a higher risk of self-harm, death from an unintentional overdose, or suicide, and death from all causes. A U.S. task force is recommending that primary care doctors screen all adults and pregnant women for tobacco use and provide resources to help them quit. The panel's experts say counseling is often effective and there are FDA-approved medications for quitting tobacco that are safe for adults who are not pregnant. However, they do not recommend switching to e-cigarettes because it's unclear if that method actually helps people quit. A new study from the Mayo Clinic reveals how age and gender play a role in recovery from a heart attack. Researchers looked at over 6.5 million heart attack hospitalization records. They found women had fewer acute heart attacks than men across all age groups, except for those over 84. Women of all ages were also less likely to undergo angioplasty and or bypass surgery. surgery. However, women under 65 were more likely to have complications and die at the hospital. It's now about 522 and coming up next in sports, the Packers, they're going to be facing another top defense when they go up against the Buccaneers on Sunday. We'll take a closer look at that matchup as both teams are hungry for a chance to play in the Super Bowl. Stay with us. We're back in two minutes. It's good to be alive right about now. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm from Alpaca. I came to see Dr. Sherry because I was having severe lower back pain. It was, it was so bad that I could only walk about 20 feet without having to sit down again. After seeing Dr. Scherer, I have absolutely no pain. Can't thank him and his staff enough. How do you thank somebody for giving your life back? 
Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Take a piece of chocolate if you're the tallest. <laughs> Take a piece of chocolate if you're better at eating your vegetables. <laughs> Take a piece of chocolate if you love sharing. <laughs> Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? Are you constantly adjusting your thermostat only to have your energy bill skyrocket? If this sounds all too familiar, Renewal by Anderson is your best start to finish window replacement solution. They custom build and install weather tight replacement windows that help keep your home warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, and quieter all year long. It was easily the best decision we've ever made in this house. Don't make the mistake of buying poor quality vinyl windows. Renewal by Anderson uses exclusive Fibrex material that's stronger than vinyl, will not warp or bow, and never needs painting. They manufacture your windows in the USA and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty that covers both product and installation. Call now to schedule your free, no obligation design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. Don't wait another minute. Call Renewal by Anderson today. For the most up-to-the-minute info on your school closings, visit WJFW.com on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. WJFW School Closings, sponsored by Marcel's Fireplace and Stoves and Builder's Service Incorporated. Welcome back. Going into last week's divisional matchup against the LA Rams, the Packers knew they were going against the best defense in the NFL. Matt LaFleur and his offense torched LA though. The Packers had almost 500 yards against the Rams, 188 of them on the ground. But their opponent this week, the Buccaneers, they might make it a little tougher to run. Going into Sunday's matchup, Tampa Bay has the number one run defense in the league. The defensive line is anchored by Indomitian Sue and Jason Pierre-Paul. And they also have two of the best linebackers in football, Devin White and Levante David. So this defense is no joke, and they did give the Packers all kinds of trouble back in October. This is a, a very good defense, one of the top defenses in the National Football League. Um, got great team speed, especially in the front seven. Again, it's going to be a great challenge. and one that we're going to have to have a great week of preparation for in order to be able to go out there and play our best game. Now the Packers managed to rush for 94 yards against the Bucks earlier in the year, so obviously getting the run game going is going to be something that Green Bay is stressing all week long. The offense is much better when they are able to run the ball. It opens up the pass game, and we know how dynamic the Packers' wide receivers are, but it's going to take everyone doing their jobs to get it done. We always talk about it takes all 11. Obviously, the wideouts can't do it if, if the guys up front aren't getting it done and the backs aren't getting it done, our quarterback's not getting it done. So it, it truly is um, such a complimentary group, really every position group feeding off one another. So this is going to be a great game coming up, you guys. Kickoff is Sunday at 2.05 p.m. on Fox. And make sure to stay with us here at Newswatch 12 all week long. We will have tons more content on the Packers as they prepare to take on Tampa Bay. So I know we've been talking about it already for a few days, but I think the uh, excitement just kind of continues as uh, such anticipation going into this weekend. And uh, I got to say, guys, you know, the whole narrative of, you know, the Packers' strong offense versus other teams' defenses is really interesting. Interesting, but we saw how they did against the Rams really good defense so I'm thinking they're gonna fare pretty well this weekend too yeah I you know I agree with you it's, it seems like you know Sunday can't come soon enough right but um, but yeah you know Green Bay's offense we've we've always talked about how explosive they are but can they handle all these other teams defense you know I think they really made a statement last week against LA and uh, I think you know going in they, they must feel really good going into this matchup this week 
Yeah, without a doubt. It's going to be very exciting to see how this all plays out. And we'll have to see. Aaron Rodgers is a really good passer. So we will have to see how this all plays out. This is kind of a rematch for the Packers. So hopefully this is also kind of a personal case for them, too, on top of what happened earlier this season for them. But meanwhile, right now out here, it feels like the winter tundra out here this morning with temperatures that are below zero. And it's chilly out there. Let's show you Eagle River right now where it's quiet out there. But otherwise, the big story is these chilly temperatures with temperatures uh, below Below zero in a few spots, including here in Rhinelander, where it's three below right now. You're probably able to see my breath on camera. But meanwhile, we do have clouds starting to move in. So the free fall and temperatures are done. But once we'll get the winds picking up later on today, that those temperatures will be warming up quickly. During the, at, during the daytime today, we'll reach the lower to middle 30s across the western parts of the state. We will do the lower 30s here in Rhinelander and Wausau, too. That high temperature actually will get hit closer to midnight. Then down toward the south, lower 30s under mostly cloudy skies. We'll have more coming up after the break. Let A Street Auto show you how easy it is to buy quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. At A Street Auto, we believe in fair prices, superior service, and treating our customers the right way. Our like new used vehicles offer low mileage and all the features that you're looking for in your next ride. We're here for you before, during, and after the sale. And you've got our word on that. Stop in to see our great line of pre-owned vehicles or visit us at 8streetauto.com today. Come on down to Wisconsin Rapids to get your deal of the day. Every living creature on Earth needs Mother Nature's water for survival. From the family pet, whether it's the dog, our fish in a fish tank, to the precious little munchkins running around, for seven decades, Maher Water Corporation has been supplying and treating this water for the entire family with products made here in Wisconsin by Water Care. So call us today for the cleanest, safest water around. Still a traffic jam. Just better views. Still your to-do list. Just getting more done. Still packing up. Just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Right now, get $4,750 cash allowance on this 2021 Silverado. Plus, current Chevy owners with an eligible GM credit card get an additional $1,750 total allowance. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Phillips Winterfest is almost here. Start the fun with the Price County Tavern League Tour. Win up to $1,100 in cash prizes. Shop participating businesses and register to win gift baskets. Enjoy the candlelight walk Friday night. On Saturday, register for the ice fishing contest with potential $1,000 cash prize in five categories. Saturday's evening events include the snowmobile parade and fireworks. Win up to $1,500 in the Winterfest raffle. Welcome to Winterfest. West Side Market Discount Store is a veteran-owned mom and pop shop. Welcome, welcome. Where you can find a large variety of items, including an expanding selection of gluten-free products at great prices. Check out our new addition, the latest in our effort to give you the best service possible. West Side Market is the only dry cleaning drop-off in Merrill, and now the only U-Haul dealer as well. With curbside pickup and free local delivery, West Side Market is here to serve our community. Find us on Facebook. You're watching News Watch 12 Today with Marissa Silvas, Peter Dubois, and Devin Biggs. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us today. It's Wednesday, January 20th. Before the pomp and circumstance that traditionally surrounds an inauguration, President-elect Joe Biden is taking some time to reflect. He's reflecting on his life, his family, and the lives lost to the COVID-19 pandemic. Whitney Wilde is in Washington to explain. I've ever a solemn moment on the eve of Joe Biden's inauguration. The president-elect, along with Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, stopping by the Lincoln Memorial to pay tribute to the more than 400,000 American lives lost to COVID-19. It's hard sometimes to remember, but that's how we heal. It's important to do that as a nation. That's why we're here today. Between sundown and dusk, let us shine the lights in the darkness along the sacred pool of reflection. Remember all whom we lost. We are at the dawn of a new era for America. The vice president-elect addressing a virtual inaugural ball Tuesday night. I come before you humbled 
by the faith you have put in me and President-elect Biden and ready to do the work. During Donald Trump's final hours in the White House, he touted his administration's accomplishments. I am especially proud to be the first president in decades who has started no new wars. But in the wake of the Capitol attack, 25,000 National Guard troops stand watch over Washington. A handful removed from inauguration duty after undergoing screening. There is no connection at this point to any extremist groups. I mean, you could imagine the abundance of caution that the leadership uh, in the National Guard are, are implementing right now, all the way down. In Washington, I'm Whitney Wild. And we'll have complete inauguration coverage for you all day long right here on Newswatch 12. Absolutely, but back here in our area, Marissa, we're just waking up with absolutely frigid temperatures below zero in some spots. But for more on how well that's going to look throughout the day, let's head on over to our weather center with Devin Biggs in for a first check of our forecast. And Devin, things not warming up too much throughout the day, though. Yeah, it's actually going to be later this evening at, is when we'll hit our high temperature for the day. So we will be gradually warming up, especially as the winds begin to pick up. But again, that high temperature will not get hit till the end of the day. Let's show you what's going on right now. Just clouds moving in, so the free fall in temperatures are done. But then we'll have to wait for the winds to pick up out of the southwest. And they're coming, I promise you that. And that will warm these temperatures up from 3 below in Rhinelander right now, 5 below in Medford. And we'll warm up into the 30s by around midnight tonight. So your bus stop forecast for today, pretty chilly out there. It only takes around 30 minutes for frostbite to set in with these temperatures. So have the gloves handy, cover all exposed skin, partly cloudy skies as the kids head off to school. Only 19 degrees under mostly cloudy skies when the kids come home. But again, those temperatures in the 30s getting hit later on in the evening. Marissa? Thanks, Devin. The American Library Association recently awarded 200 rural libraries nationwide with grants. And they focused on specifically libraries that are in smaller communities. Two local libraries, the Anigo Public Library and the Three Lakes Demmer Memorial Library, both received grants for $3,000, and they're using them in different ways. In Anigo, they purchased a meeting room owl that acts as a speaker, a microphone, and a 360-degree camera. The library director says that it's a much-needed tool for them. That's something that rural communities just traditionally struggle with, is just the distance between people. And we really hope that shrinking that distance with the use of our technology or the bifocal kits will really bring the residents of Langley County together. The meeting room owl can also be used for Zoom meetings. And in Three Lakes, the Denver Memorial Library is using the grant money to conduct informal interviews with members of the community. We want to hear from people about their experiences, either what they've really enjoyed about volunteering, places that they have volunteered at, or things, maybe reasons that they haven't been able to volunteer or haven't been interested in volunteering, what keeps them from volunteering. The Denver Memorial Library hopes to start those virtual meetings in February or March. Northwoods Habitat for Humanity plans to move their annual auction to social media this year, following the same outline that small businesses used to help keep them afloat in 2020. Bids for Build will take place over the next three weeks on Facebook. The purpose is to help raise funds for Habitat for Humanity, which they'll use to help build homes for those in need. Meg Sprexel, who organized a similar auction called Small Biz Bids, says that moving the auction to social media can help expand the possibility for those to get involved. It's opening up a whole new world of, you know, possible volunteers and donations and sponsorships in order to provide housing to people that are less fortunate or maybe unable to purchase a new home themselves. The first auction will begin on Thursday, January 21st at 6 p.m., and then it'll end on Saturday at 8 p.m. To bid, you simply join the Facebook group Bids for Builds and then place your bid on the photo of the item that you would like to be considered for. Donations for the auction are coming from businesses all across the Northwoods. Each week, we will have 20 items available for auction. We have lots of custom artwork and home decor. We have gift certificates of bathroom vanity, Y memberships, and even a brand new kitchen. And if you don't have social media, but you'd still like to participate, the group recommends partnering up with a friend who does have an account. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to Meg Sprexel directly.
Well, make sure to mark your calendars for the second weekend of February for the 45th annual Ryan, Rhinelander Lions Club Fishery. It's going to be held on February 13th and 14th from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. and it'll take place on Boom Lake in Rhinelander. Early entry tickets are $20 and kids 11 and under are free. Prizes include $500 each day for the longest northern caught. And fishing entry tickets are available at locations including Mel's Trading Post and the Hodag Pump and Pantry. For more information, you can visit the Rhinelander Lions Facebook page. This sounds like a lot of fun. Well, coming up, some news you can use, including what's leading to a disconnect between employers and applicants. Plus, we'll take a look at some of the hottest housing markets across the country. And Devin tells us how long these frigid temperatures will stick around in his full forecast when we return. If you're a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, make Argonne Lumber your first stop. High-quality materials, personalized service, expert staff, and delivery are just some of the things Argonne Lumber is known for. Stop in and smell the lumber at Argonne Lumber, two locations in Argonne and Rhinelander. Hi, I'm Andy from 2020 Vision. When I want the forecast for Schofield, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Get your Newswatch 12 trail report every week on Newswatch 12 at 10, Thursday and Friday nights. And Newswatch 12 today, Friday mornings. The Newswatch 12 trail report is brought to you by these Northern Wisconsin and UP ski dealers. Hi, I'm Lori with Wild Birds Unlimited of Wausau. It's our annual winter seed cylinder sale. It only happens once a year. Buy three, get the fourth one free. These are the refills for our popular seed character feeders and includes our cranberry hot pepper cylinder to keep the squirrels, raccoons, and deer away. And our winter super blend cylinder, which is the highest fat and protein cylinder on the market, formulated to help our birds get through the long winter nights. Seed cylinders take up very little storage space, attract the greatest variety of birds, and don't leave you with a mess to clean up. Only at Wild Birds Unlimited, across from Walmart and Rib Mountain. Hello, Mosany. Hello, Schofield. Hello, Wausau. Hello, Marathon County. Welcome to Ultracom, Marathon County. Stop into our new location in Target Plaza in Weston. We're your authorized U.S. cellular agent, offering superior customer service, plans that are fair, and a wide selection of phones to match your needs and budget. Marathon County, we'd love to meet you. Because at Ultracom, it all begins with you. We want to see your big old fish. Go to WJFW.com, click on Big Old Fish under the Sports tab, and upload a photo of you and your latest catch. Then make sure your friends and family watch Newswatch 12 Sports Fridays at 6 a.m. 10 and Mondays on Newswatch 12 today to see your photo featured on our Big Old Fish segment. Not only do you get to show off your superior fishing skills, you're also entered to win a fish mount from Norling Taxidermy Studio. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monaco. Get your Newswatch 12 Ski and Snowboard Report every week on Newswatch 12 at 6 and 10 Thursday night and Newswatch 12 today, Friday mornings. The Newswatch 12 Ski and Snowboard Report is brought to you by Sure Drive Basement Systems. And welcome back. So clouds are starting to move in this morning. So this free fall in temperatures below zero has thankfully ended for now. But here are those clouds moving in as a strong area of low pressure right here is tracking in our direction. All it's really going to do is kick up the winds today and give us a little bit of snow. Won't be anything to get too excited about accumulations. If any occur, will be rather minimal. But here's this low pressure system right here. Kind of the draw the line with the warm front because we're going to have winds out of the southwest going toward the north and east throughout the daytime today. We're right on the edge of it now, and that is going to help to make temperatures warmer for us today. So some good news there, but with high pressure and low pressure closer together, that's why we're seeing this. And wind gusts today, these are the gusts, could reach up to 40 miles per hour out of the southwest going toward the northeast today. That wind chill is going to feel cold as a result, but temperatures will be warming up close to 30 as we head towards the evening hours tonight. So our high temperature won't be hit till close to midnight tonight. So kind of a weird, weird way to think about it, but that's how it's going to play out until Thursday when a cold front begins to move through and we'll go from northwest to southeast but still gusts up to 40 miles per hour as that low pressure system begins to move through. So here's those temperatures right now. Three below in Rhinelander, one degree above zero in Merrill. So these are the air temperatures here. This is what the uh, degree, this is what the thermometer is showing. Here's what it feels like to us when you get that light breeze at around five miles per hour going. 
14 below in Antigo, 12 degrees in Phillips, so really well below zero in many areas this morning. This can get you frostbite in as little as 30 minutes, so cover as much exposed skin as you can today because you'll need that, especially when the winds pick up. So even with highs making it to 30 today, you will still need to make sure to cover exposed skin with how gusty the winds will be. We'll cool off to 10 degrees by Friday, then warming back up closer to average by Sunday and beyond in the lower 20s, or average high 21 degrees for this time of the year. So here's future cast right on the edge of the wind now. We'll see the winds picking up throughout the day, and those chances for a few snow showers cannot be ruled out, especially for our northern counties throughout the uh, early evening period. Then now we'll begin to taper off. And then our northern and southern counties, kind of a divide here. So we'll have clouds across our northern counties and then some clear skies possible across our southern counties by Thursday morning before more clouds move in. Another wave of energy passes along with that cold front. Could give us just a little bit of snow too, but still remaining windy at least through Saturday. So for today, 30 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and again windy with that southwest wind at around 15 to 35 miles per hour. For tonight, 23 degrees, snow showers early, then mostly cloudy late with that west wind at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Your Northwoods furniture and match for a seven day forecast. Again, mainly just snow, small snow chances Thursday and Friday. We dry out Saturday. The Sunday and Monday snow chances are tapering off, but we still have those chances. Temperatures again, they're going to be up and down. Teens by Friday and 20s next week. Hiring disconnect tops our look at consumer news this morning. According to the 2021 Talent Trends Report released by Randstad Source Right, businesses continue to struggle to find qualified talent. Now that's despite millions of people looking to re-enter the workforce in the wake of the pandemic. The survey found 40% of HR leaders continue to experience talent scarcity in information technology and 28% say they can't find enough qualified candidates for HR roles. Nearly one in five uh, need more finance and accounting specialists. Real estate is hot and Zillow predicts Austin, Texas will be the hottest housing market in the country this year. The firm surveyed econ uh, economists, investment strategists and real estate experts for their predictions. 84% said Austin would outperform the national average this year. Phoenix came in second with 69% saying it would outperform, followed by Nashville, Tampa and Denver. The top five metros are all affordable options compared to expensive coastal areas that have led home appreciation ranks in recent years. The top five are also, for the most part, sunny locations. Meanwhile, Ford is reportedly delaying del deliveries of the Mustang Mach-E in order to conduct additional quali quality checks. Ford began delivering the all-electric SUV last month, but some buyers say their dates have been pushed back by up to a month. The Mach-E is Ford's first ever expansion for an iconic Mustang brand and biggest push into electric vehicles yet. We know what our county's um, demographics look like, and, and we'll need to plan on that, um, you know, those kind of numbers. Wisconsin's Phase 1B vaccination plan is now underway. Coming up at 6.30, we'll tell you who's next in line to get their shot. Stay with us. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Ag Country Farm Credit Services. At Menards, we have what you need to finish your painting projects. Dutch Boy DuraClean Interior Paint is a paint and primer in one with a beautiful look that's washable, scrubbable, and stain resistant. Interior flat is just $19.99 a gallon. Plus, we offer free custom color matching and tinting to create over 2,000 color options. Give your home a fresh look and save big money with Dutch Boy Paint from Menards. Save big money at Menards. My name is Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, my feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for Spinal Aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as I was walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? 
These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or visit us at SpinalAid.com. The Kitchen Remodel Project was a major project. After checking around, we went to Featherstone, and we were so glad we did. There was electrical work, plumbing, enlarging a doorway, and of course, all the cabinets, countertops, and fixtures. The minute I walked in the door at Featherstone, I knew I was in the right place. Featherstone coordinated every aspect of the project, the whole thing. They made it easy. And I can't say enough about how much we appreciated the personal attention Featherstone gave us. Jeopardy! continues this week with guest host Ken Jennings spinning the hit categories. Girl, you know it's true. Don't you forget about me. I ran so far away. Word up. Taking requests. Almost rhymes with the purple for 2000 And giving away cash. I hope somebody takes us for a ton of money. That's what I want to see. Then, one game with a nail-biter ending. Pick up your signaling devices. This week on Jeopardy! Weekdays at 4.30. Brought to you locally by North Star Mohican Casino Resort. Welcome back. A Northwoods child named Eli Kassler was diagnosed with leukemia in August of 2017. And Eli reached a huge milestone in his treatment this month, taking part in the traditional bell ringing ceremony. <laughs> Kassler's family and friends came together to start Believe 15 shortly after his diagnosis, aiming to help fund research. Eli's aunt suggested a run and the Unite and Fun fundraiser run began, which in turn ended up turning into a whole lot more. We also had money left over from that, and that's where we started, okay, how, how else can we give back? How can we support these kids and their families? And so we started doing um, the Wagons and Wishes program and the Soft Sheets Sweet Dreams. Believe 15 now hosts blood drives, creates comfort wagons for families, and still hosts the run. Eli's current project is called Soft Sheets Sweet Dreams. Now this all started because Eli told his mom what brought him the most comfort during his hospital stays was having comfy sheets. We generally ask for sheets that are very soft in material. We, you know, the fleece, the flannel, um, because these kids tend to have sensitive skin during treatment. Now you can donate on their website, believe15.com, or just mail sheets in. You can also drop them off in person at Inbalance Chiropractic in Anago. And the drive's going to go until Valentine's Day, and you can find some more information for all of this on our website, wjfw.com. So, wow, what an incredible family to have really come up with all of these different ideas of how they can help. And certainly, the sheets makes all the sense in the world, you guys, right? Because there really is nothing like feeling nice and cozy and comfy in your bed, and certainly if you're receiving treatment or anything like that, too. Absolutely. Really great cause. And uh, yeah, I know, uh, Marissa, you and I are big uh, supporters of the flannel sheets. We talked about that before. Oh, yes. But all the flannel, the fleece <laughs> yes. sheets are all good uh, and definitely would help those uh, those kids right now. But yeah, Devin, maybe looks like you could use uh, a little bit of wrapping and flannel at the moment. You're out there and it's frigid <laughs> out there. Yeah, it's freezing out here, Peter. Those blankets are coming handy right now. And, in, and of course, as if on cue, the wind's starting to pick up, too. The American flag here at the station is just off camera. It's starting to flap here in the wind, so the ISO bars are starting to stack together now, so that means it's starting to get windy. Let's show you what's going on in Eagle River right now. We're starting to get windy pretty much across the entire viewing area, too, so you might see some of these cameras starting to shake before you know it. But let's show you these temperatures right now. They are cool out there. Look at this, three below in Rhineland or two below in Phillips. The wind chill getting close to 15 below, so you see I have gloves on now. Frostbite can set in in as little as 30 minutes if you don't cover as much exposed skin as you can. But meanwhile, here is the clouds. Those are starting to move in. This low pressure system getting closer, so again, the wind's starting to pick up. The travel forecast today, lower to middle 30s across the western parts of the state. Cloudy skies setting up for them. We'll have clouds today, temperatures in the low 30s, 28 degrees for Green Bay. And the southern parts of the state, lower 30s under mostly cloudy skies. We'll have more coming up after the break. NBC has done it again. <laughs> oh, no. 
And so has Ted Danson. I'm cool AF. Cool as Fonzie. Don't miss TV's new hit comedy. I'm mad fine. It just means you're handsome. I am handsome. Mr. Mayor. New Thursday on NBC. It's so nice to be back. Hey, sorry about that. I'm the manager. Dina. Somebody parked in your spot. That's my car. That's the manager's spot. Don't worry about it. They're towing it right now. They towed my car? Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. Colgate Optic White Renewal removes 10 years of yellow stains. That's like all the way back to 2010. Their jeans, their leggings, their jeggings. Whoa. Remove 10 years of yellow stains with Colgate Optic White Renewal. Do you have dry, cracked hands from constant washing, cold weather, and hard work? Try O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. You are watching News Watch 12 Today with Marissa Silvers, Peter Dubois, and Devin Biggs. Well, Monday was my lucky or unlucky day. WJFW went to Camp 10 Ski Resort located just outside of Rainlater. And ooh, as you can tell, <laughs> I can't ski. We went to shoot a promo uh, <laughs> before the weather team in parts of up north at 4. And during that time, the team found out that, of course, I had never skied a day in my life. And it showed when I <laughs> fell over and over and over again. I never did try the bunny hill. So it was li literally a baptism by fire. So my advice, start small and then move to bigger hills. Don't just start right off the bat and then boom yeah I, I go down again so it was a good time I was pretty beat up yesterday I'm feeling pretty good now it was just kind of hard to wake up this morning too and you guys were saying it was hard for you guys to wake up too but that video if we can take that again is just too entertaining <laughs> Oh my goodness, Devin, I've been watching it a few times this morning and uh, I got to give you credit though, you know, for um, going out there your first time and starting out on the more difficult hills. I'm proud of you and uh, and everything that I've seen you do, Devin, you just kind of go like full out. Uh, we went ice skating, you know, a year or so ago and Devin wasn't the best ice skater around, but he was giving it a good old college try. So uh, <laughs> kudos to you, buddy. That's what it's all about, Devin. I love your effort. Uh, I love your willingness to fail and try over over and over again to, to get it down. Uh, that's what skiing is all about. You know, you start small, uh, but you know, I like that you were going for it. You caught a little speed there a couple <laughs> times too, but uh, we'll have to get out again this season and I can give you some, some pointers. But you did great uh, and I hope that, I can't wait to see that promo. Yeah, I can't wait to see it either. It's going to be very entertaining. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the ski resorts, we may have to go on the weekends. But yeah, one thing that was not on video, I kind of got a little too quick. I think how fast to go, 20, 30 miles per hour on some skis. I'm not a ski expert, but I was going fast. And needless to say, to put it nicely for on air use, I was terrified. And uh, I didn't know how to do the pizza <laughs> maneuver, how to stop. So what do you do? Fall down. <laughs> 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 Gotta learn the pizza. Gotta learn the pizza. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yep, so that's why they say start small. So maybe this time around we'll try it out. But anyway, it's very entertaining. One thing that's also kind of entertaining is this weather here. The wind's starting to pick up with some clouds moving on in. But looking ahead towards your next three days, very busy. 30 degrees today, 29 degrees for your Thursday with a chance of snow and a small chance on Friday. So, Marissa, I know you love taking your three-year-old outside to play in the snow, and unfortunately, we don't have much snow for him to play in yet. I know, we're still waiting on that snow, um, but it's definitely feeling like winter today. Thank you so much, Devin. Well, coming up next on Newswatch 12 today, a sugar camp man is set to be released from prison early for his role in a deadly hit and run. 
We've got that story for you, plus a look ahead at today's inauguration ceremony. That's all coming up in the next half hour. But first, you're waking up with Newswatch 12 today on NBC. Yeah, well, look what I did this weekend, huh? Your weekends brought to you by American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. We have more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Check them out in the largest showroom in the USA. Buy or trade into a new boat and get out on the water today, and we'll give you the best deal. Guaranteed by at least 500 bucks. Get the most out of your weekends with American Marine and Motorsports Shawano. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? Are you constantly adjusting your thermostat only to have your energy bill skyrocket? Do you simply deal with fog glass and leaking windows? Hi, I'm Matt Minster. If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. Renewal by Anderson is the full service replacement division of Anderson Windows, the most recommended family of window brands in America. They custom build and install your windows for a weather tight fit that helps keep your home warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, and quieter all year long. The thing that impresses me most about the new windows by Renewal by Anderson is that they're completely sealed. I mean, there, there is no draft off those windows. Let Renewal by Anderson bring more comfort to your home. This special offer and our great financing makes now the perfect time to call. Don't make the mistake of buying poor quality vinyl windows that crack, warp, discolor, and quickly wear out. Renewal by Anderson uses exclusive Fibrex material that's stronger than vinyl and will not warp or bow. It's elegant and strong like wood, but never needs painting and their high-performance smart sun glass blocks 95% of harmful UV rays and helps save on your energy bills year-round. Need another reason to call now? Their signature service helps you design a budget-friendly solution that's custom-built in the USA. They'll be with you from start to finish and promise to make your project the best home improvement experience you've ever had. Not only that, their generous, fully transferable limited warranty is unique because it covers both their product and their installation. Call Renewal by Anderson today. Call this number now to schedule your free no obligation design consultation. Plus take advantage of this free limited time offer. With incredible savings and attractive financing, installation is always included. Don't miss out. This money saving special ends soon. Call Renewal by Anderson today. Hi, I'm Maria Seafeld with Miracle Ear of Marshfield. If you're struggling hearing your favorite news or TV shows, Please stop in and see me for a free hearing test. Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be sworn in in front of the U.S. Capitol building later this morning. We'll have the latest on the inauguration events. Plus... It's getting chilly out there this morning with temperatures below zero, and now the winds are starting to pick up. Your full forecast is coming up. And a Wausau man appeared in court Tuesday for a probable cause hearing on reckless homicide charges related to the death of his three-month-old baby. We'll learn more details in the case. It's Wednesday, January 20th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Peter Dubois here with Marissa Silvis. Well, taking you across the country this half hour, President-elect Joe Biden's inaugural events will kick off today amid heightened security. And that tops our look ahead for this Wednesday. In a major departure from previous inaugurations, most of the events are going to be taking place virtually because of the pandemic. President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be sworn in on the west front of the U.S. Capitol building later this morning. Then after they take their oaths of office, the new president, Joe Biden, will be delivering an inaugural address laying out his vision for his presidency. President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris will also visit Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. They'll be joined by President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, President George W. Bush and Laura Bush, and President Bill Clinton and Secretary Hillary Clinton. And we'll have complete coverage for you of the inauguration events all morning long. But back here in our area, we are starting out really on the chilly side. If you thought yesterday was cold, 
Today's even colder. That's right. And wind gusts making those temperatures feel like they're even colder than they really are. But for more on what to expect throughout the day, let's head right on over to our weather center with Devin Biggs in for our first check of our forecast. And Devin, there are some feels like temperatures uh, in the negative teens out there this morning. Yeah, and that's perfect conditions for frostbite to develop. So you want the gloves on, just bundle up as much as you can because frostbite can develop in as little as 30 minutes or less this morning. The free fall in temperatures have stopped, and let's show you why. We have clouds moving in this morning from the northwest to the south and east. That will continue to move in, but as that low pressure system approaches, the winds will continue to pick up. Temperatures are below zero in many areas this morning, two below in Rhinelander and Eagle River, two above in Marshfield. You notice winds out of the southwest going towards the northeast, ranging at around 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it will remain gusty throughout the day. Temperatures will warm up. We'll only hit the lower 20s by the afternoon period. Your high temperatures in the 30s hit by close to midnight. Peter? A Wausau man appeared in court on Tuesday for a probable cause hearing on reckless homicide charges. Wausau police say Ronnie Lofton faces the charges after bringing his three-month-old baby to Aspirus Wausau on, on January 9th with life-threatening brain injuries and suspicious bruising. According to statements made in court, Lofton was the primary caregiver for the child at the time that the injuries are thought to have occurred. The defendant was the only person alone with RDL between the period of time the child was last eating and acting normally until the child was found limp and out of it, at which time he was taken to the emergency room. The child was then transported to Marshfield Hospital where he died from his injuries, according to the statements made in court. Lofton was arrested on January 15th, last Friday. The state argued on Tuesday that due to his prior record of battery, abuse, and failing to appear in court, that he was at risk of not reappearing. The fact that he does have that prior escape, whether it's a different kind of escape or not, it's still an escape charge. Uh, I'm concerned about uh, uh, him not appearing in court in the future given of the very serious nature of the charges in this case. And I'm, I'm greatly concerned about uh, some of the information that I have heard. The court set bond at $250,000. His next trial date will be on February 2nd at 2 p.m. for his initial appearance. A sugar camp man convicted to three years in prison for a deadly hit and run will soon be free only after 11 months of his sentencing starting. Jeffrey Liebscher pleaded guilty to a hit and run on Sean Holtzlander in August of 2019. This letter from the Department of Corrections Office of Victim Services and Programs was sent to Dorothy Holtzlander, Sean's mom, notifying her that Liebscher had been admitted to a release program. And Holtzlander says after completing a third treatment period in the third facility, Liebscher will be released. In a statement attained by WJFW, Holtzlander says of his potential release in part, quote, time and time again, the court had the opportunity to deliver true justice to the man that forever silenced Sean, the man that took away a young man with limitless potential, but time and time again, the court leaned over backwards to make sure that Jeffrey Liebscher got the most lenient of sentences, end quote. Holtzlander says that she has many concerns about the criminal case and has also filed a civil suit. Well, coming up next on News Watch 12 today, it's National Cheese Lovers Day. What better way to celebrate than with some cheesy recipes from dairy farmers of Wisconsin, perfect for sharing on game day. Plus, Devin has a look at your temperature trends for the week and his full forecast in just a couple minutes. Take a road trip to Cabin Creations during the Phillips Winterfest celebration or shop online anytime at cabincreationswi.com. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram too. Birch Island Resort Bar and Grill, five miles west of Phillips on Wilson Lake. Stop in while participating in the Price County Tavern League Tour and enjoying the Phillips Winterfest activities. Get your News Watch 12 trail report every week on News Watch 12 at 10, Thursday and Friday nights. And News Watch 12 today, Friday mornings. The News Watch 12 Trail Report is brought to you by these Northern Wisconsin and UP ski dealers. Furniture and Mattress USA in Antigo. We have the inventory and we know how to use it. Furniture and Mattress USA has the largest Lazy Boy Comfort Studio in the Northwoods. Don't order a recliner, buy a recliner and bring it home today. We have a large selection of mattress options in stock with more inventory arriving weekly. Extra soft to extra firm, we have the size and the style you're looking for. Don't order a mattress, buy a mattress and bring it home today. For furniture and mattresses, come to Furniture and Mattress USA in Antigua. 
It's a new year, and new appliances can welcome family recipes, shorten laundry days, and keep the season fresh. Right now, they can also help you save on top appliances like these Samsung washers and dryers. Now from the Home Depot, how doers get more done. After 40, we need anti-aging care that works. Am I right, ladies? New from L'Oreal, Revitalist Night Serum with Pure Retinol. International patent pending. Our most potent retinol. So effective in a clinical test, 100% of women showed reduction of wrinkles. Even deep wrinkles. Powerful results validated by dermatologists. It's an anti-aging superstar. New Revitalift Night Serum with Pure Retinol from L'Oreal Paris. We're worth it. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty. An answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. A&W is your home for all-American food. Famous root beer made fresh daily, burgers, hand-breaded chicken tenders, sweets, and treats. Open daily in Phillips. And welcome back. You'll want those winter coats, gloves, stocking caps, you name it. You'll need it today because it's going to be chilly out there. But if there's any good news, clouds are starting to move in from the northwest to the southeast. We're just going to keep the temperatures from dropping down any further than what they've done so far this morning. So far, we've hit like minus four here and widely or maybe minus five in a few areas. But we have high pressure here, low pressure here. And that's causing the winds to get gusty this morning. They're already starting to pick up here in Rhinelander. We'll have winds out of the southwest going toward the northeast, reaching with gusts reaching up to 40 miles per hour at times. But with it being a southwesterly flow, good news in store. That's really going to help to warm the temperatures up. But again, with those gusts reaching up to 40 miles per hour, we'll really need to make sure to bundle up because the wind chills will be pretty low at times too. And as low pressure tracks off towards the north and east, we'll see the wind swinging from the west to eventually the northwest of the southeast, especially by Thursday afternoon. And that will cause temperatures to crash down. Also, but let's show you the air temperatures. This is what the uh, thermometer would show. Temperatures below zero in Rhinelander and in Phillips. Mantowish water is also a little warmer down toward the south if you want to call it relatively warmer. This is what it feels like out there with the winds picking up already. 15 below in Ashland. And also in Rhinelander, yeah, you can get frostbite in 30 minutes or less with these kinds of uh, wind chills. So, yeah, you want the gloves, you want the stocking cap. Just make sure to bundle up today because you definitely don't want to get frostbite on your hands or anything else. But meanwhile, this morning into the afternoon period, we'll see temperatures warming up, but the high actually won't get hit until close to the evening. Then we'll do the same thing Thursday, close to 29 degrees before we start cooling down. The 10 degrees for your Friday, 17 degrees Saturday, then lower 20 Sunday and beyond. So we'll be closer to average, which is now 21 degrees by Sunday and beyond. So future cast clouds on the increase now. Winds out of the southwest going towards the northeast too. Could blow a little bit of snow around as we head towards the evening hours tonight. It'll be a quick uh, splash and dash of snow, so to say, before we switch to mainly clouds for our northern counties tonight. And maybe some clear skies across parts of Marathon County and areas to the south before another wave from that low pressure system moves in, giving us a little bit of snow. And then the lake effect machine begins to kick in Thursday evening through Friday as that wind will be gusting out over a wide open Lake Superior. So your forecast for today will call it 30 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and windy, with a southwest wind ranging from 15 to 35 miles per hour at times. So for tonight, 23 degrees, we'll have some snow showers early, then mostly cloudy late with a west wind at around 15 up to 25 miles per hour. Your Northwoods furniture and mattress seven day forecast. We have clouds today, snow chances by Thursday, a small chance Friday. Friday, temperatures up and down, but will be closer to average by Sunday and beyond. Marissa. Thanks, Devin. The Packers will be playing in the NFC Championship game Sunday, and then Super Bowl Sunday is just a couple weeks away, so we've got to get our game day treats ready to go. Tina Peterson from Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin has some cheesy recipes that will have you cheering. The big game is right around the corner and we know great football pairs really well with great food. And the star of every celebration is of course cheese. For a winning roster, I went to the most awarded cheese in the world, Wisconsin Cheese, for today's recipes. Wisconsin is pretty serious about their cheese. In fact, 
you need a license to make cheese in Wisconsin, and they've been making cheese since before they were even a state. Their crazy obsession leads to over 600 varieties, types, and styles to choose from. And today we are going to capitalize on all those different flavors with this football game cheese board and the ultimate queso dip. My family is going to be thoroughly enjoying this cheese board I put together from the kickoff until the final seconds of the game. To build this epic cheese board, you can visit wisconsincheese.com for specifics, but today I just chose four or five of my favorite cheeses and plated those first. So I put on my aged cheddar, some Gouda, a Bellavitano that happens to have a raspberry uh, rub on the outside, and then finally on a Havarti. In the middle, you're going to see a cold pack cheese. So once I've plated all of my favorite cheeses, I add in the sides that are sweet, savory, and salty. All of our go-tos for game day. I started with a caramel and um, chocolate covered popcorn, went in with some chocolate. Chocolate pairs really well with a Parmesan, for example. Then I went in and added some pickles, maybe a little jam if I have some in my pantry, some pistachios, pretzels, and of course anything that will go with this ultimate queso dip, which has a Havarti cheese in it. These recipes are going to be having you doing the end zone dance by the end of the day. Visit WisconsinCheese.com for your game day recipe inspiration. I think we'll definitely be doing the end zone dance and they're also perfect recipes for today, National Cheese Lovers Day, right? Oh, absolutely. They all look so good. Uh, I would love to try making a queso dip. That, that one sounds especially delicious to me. Yes, yes, I am obsessed with queso any mm. day of the week. Alrighty. Well, coming up next, we have what's trending, including one teenager who's being praised for his survival skills. We'll show you his story and plus a look at the magical Northern Lights display from Finland. Those stories up next on What's Trending. KNS Fuel Injection and Service Center is your source for specialty in light and medium duty diesel repair. We have a crane truck that will come to you on site and service your farm, construction, and forestry equipment. At KNS, we have been rebuilding injection pumps, injectors, and turbos for over 40 years. We have the experience and knowledge to get you back up and running in a timely manner. Visit KNS Fuel Injection and Service Center in Weston today for all automotive repairs, gas, or diesel. Lance Truck, Lance Truck, we got the trucks at Lance Truck. Nobody has more used trucks all on one lot, all price to move. So when you're ready to buy your next truck, know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all price to move. We got the trucks at Lance Truck. Jeopardy! continues this week with guest host Ken Jennings spinning the hit categories. Girl, you know it's true. Don't you forget about me. I ran so far away. Word up. Taking requests. Almost rhymes with the purple for 2000 And giving away cash. I hope somebody takes us for a ton of money. That's what I want to see. Then, one game with a nail-biter ending. Pick up your signaling devices. This week on Jeopardy! Jeopardy! Weekdays at 4.30 on NBC12. Millions of customers are leaving their providers and switching to Spectrum. And if you have satellite, it's not hard to see why. Because unlike satellite, Spectrum gives you all the services you need, like internet and TV from one provider. They do? Yeah, they do. And Spectrum has the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance. Get Spectrum Internet with speeds at 200 megabits for $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. Spectrum wins on TV, too. Unlike satellite, Spectrum doesn't have an ugly dish to install. And you get exclusive premium original content with Spectrum Originals. Wow, really? Really. Plus, Spectrum has more free HD and free on demand. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. And unlike satellite providers, Spectrum doesn't have contracts or early termination fees. We'll even buy out your current contract up to $500. Switch to America's fastest growing internet TV and voice provider. Get Spectrum internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Ask about our easy self-install options. Call 833-909-4499.
It's about a quarter after six and time now for What's Trending. Kroger shoppers could be bidding goodbye to waiting in checkout lines. That's if this new shopping cart that the grocery store chain has been testing takes off. The cart is nicknamed Crow Go and it's being developed with the tech startup called Carper. It's equipped with a card reader which allows shoppers to pay at the cart itself versus waiting at the register. The cart also has a scale for items that are sold by weight and as an added bonus there's also a screen that makes shopping suggestions to you and it makes promotional offers. The cart's being tested at a store in the Cincinnati area where Kroger's based and the company told WGN that it's going to wait for some feedback from shoppers and employees before deciding on its next step. But wow, um, that would really be something to be able to check out just from your own cart instead of having to wait in line. You know, I know, of course, they have the self-checkouts available for people right now, which is always um, a faster, you know, um, faster way to get through doing that and not having to wait in those lines. Mm. But I love that uh, they're trying to make it even quicker and more convenient. Oh, I'm all for convenience, Marissa. I really like the idea, and I could see that taking off in the future. That could be the future of grocery shopping right there. Um, you know, it, a lot of the time, you know, waiting in that long line, especially when that person gets in front of you with that massive cart of, of groceries that's just piled <laughs> high, uh, you're just like, oh, my goodness, i got to wait. But, you know, this would be really, really cool to just be able to put your cart in, take your cart out, and bring it right to your car. Yeah, that would make yeah. it like... Or waiting in a long line if you have a little kid. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, that would make life a lot easier. Maybe even for those that have the big card too, this kind of scan as you go. And before you know it, you're already set and ready to go. Just take it outside and load it. The only concern I would have with this, though, those employees that have the jobs of uh, checking things. I don't know about you guys, but that would honestly concern me because that's, in my opinion, that's jobs right there. That's a really good point, Devin. Well, going from the grocery store to the great outdoors may be a successful rescue of a stranded teen on a mountain revealed an impressive set of survival skills on display. So check this out. A, a teenage snowmobiler surviving being stranded by building himself a snow cave. The teen got separated from his group on a mountain in British Columbia. That's in Canada. Rescuers were alerted and sent out. In, uh, they sent out a search party immediately. Within hours, the teen was found safe in a snow cave shelter that he built in a tree well. Rescuers say he just stayed in one place and he was warm and safe and dry. The boy said he was prepared for a rough night and thanked his rescuers. Mountain safety organizations are praising the teen's survival skills and quick thinking, saying he did what we all hope for. And I think uh, we can all agree with that, you know, definitely is a, a really tough and tragic situation to be in. But, uh, you know, his quick thinking possibly if uh, they weren't able to find him right away could have saved his life and um, you know it's really good that they're using him in his case as a as an example and a scenario uh, for other people who might get themselves stuck in these types of situations yeah i think it's just incredible that he number one knew what to do mm. and uh, number two like you said peter that they're just really trying to pass along that message i think it's so important if you're going to spend any time in the outdoors to really have that knowledge you know have uh know what to do just in case um in any situation in life right you know just always kind of have your plans a b and c just in case things don't go as planned yeah, because things can go south in a hurry, too. So, yeah, make sure you know what to do when you're out there. Make sure to plan ahead. This this person did, and they were ready to go, and that's why they were okay. Stay put, too. And we're also going to keep the cold theme going here with this next story. A spectacular sight from Finland. Northern lights in various shades of green dance across the sky. In Lapland country, the lights appeared around 7 o'clock Monday and only faded at 5 Tuesday morning. The photographer withstood temperatures of 13 degrees below zero. So there's a cold reference there to get this stunning video. The northern lights are visible on roughly 200 nights a year in Finnish Lapland. The best time for northern lights is from October to March. And man, it kind of feels like you can see the northern lights even here in Wisconsin. Kind of just chilly out there today. <laughs> Yeah, I know we are able to see them here, um, you know, on occasion, which is always such a stunning sight. But uh, seeing them there, you know, that, those are always the videos and the pictures that come out that seem incredibly popular and uh, certainly a bucket list kind of thing to be able to go there and witness that in person. Mm. Yeah, I'm absolutely amazed at uh, some local photographers and how they're able to capture through long exposure those colors in our area here. Um, but they're just so much brighter and more vibrant um, in that area. And uh, 
I would love, love to be able to take a trip and see them in person one day um, like that. But, but oh my gosh, uh, gosh, it's just, uh, it's really fascinating and just one of, uh, one of nature's true phenomenons. Without a doubt, Andy, one of nature's true phenomenons. I would love to see it too, and hopefully someday that will happen. But for now, we'll have more news and weather coming up after this. West Side Market Discount Store is a veteran-owned mom and pop shop. Welcome, welcome. Where you can find a large variety of items, including an expanding selection of gluten-free products at great prices. Check out our new addition, the latest in our effort to give you the best service possible. West Side Market is the only dry cleaning drop-off in Merrill, and now the only U-Haul dealer as well. With curbside pickup and free local delivery, West Side Market is here to serve our community. Find us on Facebook. It's a new year, and new appliances can welcome family recipes, shorten laundry days, and keep the season fresh. Right now, they can also help you save on top appliances like these Samsung washers and dryers. Now from the Home Depot, how doers get more done. If your bathroom is dull and outdated, then it's time for a change. Give us a call here at Mad City Baths, your trusted local source for high-quality baths, walk-in showers, and walk-in tubs installed in as little as one day. Modern, easy-access designs infused with microband to prevent bacteria, mold, and mildew. And remember, we're Wisconsin's number one ranked remodeler. Mad City, your window and bath partner of the Green Bay Packers. And now you can take advantage of the 60-60-60 sale. 60% off installation. 60 months, zero interest, senior, military, and previous customer discounts. $60 Walmart gift card with your purchase and $100 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate from Mad City. Call 715-941-4238. Let me give you that number again. 715-941-4238. MadCityBaths.com. What does it mean to fight for what's right? And who decides what's right? Is it right for an insurance adjuster to try to get you to settle for less than you deserve? Is it right to let victims struggle to pay their medical bills? To us, it means helping accident victims get their lives back to normal again. It means doing what's right for you. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. For the most up-to-the-minute info on your school closings, visit WJFW.com on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. WJFW School Closings, sponsored by Marcel's Fireplace and Stoves and Builder Service Incorporated. And welcome back. You will need the winter coats, the gloves, and the stocking cap, and many other things this morning. It is cool out here. Frostbite can happen pretty quickly, 30 minutes or less, so bundle up. Definitely going to be a must today. Let's show you what's going on right now. Where It's pretty calm over in Eagle River right now, but that camera may start shaking soon as the winds are going to be picking up in that direction, too. But here are those temperatures right now. Pretty cool out there. Two below in Rhinelander, one below in Phillips, now a goose egg in Medford. All courtesy of our radar and satellite, where we do have clouds starting to move in right now from the northwest to the south and east that these clouds are stopping the temperatures from nose diving but the winds are picking up as that low pressure system approaches too the travel forecast today here on this wednesday lower to middle 30s across the western parts of the state we'll do lower 30s under mostly cloudy skies 28 degrees in green bay and the southern parts of the state lower 30s will be in the forecast we did not have a birthday club winner today but, but here's how you can enter the birthday club I'm Lori with Wild Birds Unlimited of Wausau. It's our annual winter seed cylinder sale. It only happens once a year. Buy three, get the fourth one free. These are the refills for our popular seed character feeders and includes our cranberry hot pepper cylinder to keep the squirrels, raccoons, and deer away. And our winter super blend cylinder, which is the highest fat and protein cylinder on the market, formulated to help our birds get through the long winter nights. Seed cylinders take up very little storage space, attract the greatest variety of birds, and don't leave you with a mess to clean up. Only at Wild Birds Unlimited, across from Walmart and Rib Mountain. Dove asked women the secret to getting the best results. Catching that perfect wave means a lot of details have to align. It's all about precision. Every little thing matters, from the instrument to the light, to yes, my hair. Details make the difference. 
That's why new Dove Hair Therapy Range has selected ingredients so potent, they instantly nourish damaged hair at a cellular level for 100% smoother hair after first use. Discover new Dove Hair Therapy Range. Let 8th Street Auto show you how easy it is to buy quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. At 8th Street Auto, we believe in fair prices, superior service, and treating our customers the right way. Our like-new used vehicles offer low mileage and all the features that you're looking for in your next ride. We're here for you before, during, and after the sale, and you've got our word on that. Stop in to see our great line of pre-owned vehicles or visit us at 8thStreetAuto.com today. Come on down to Wisconsin Rapids to get your deal of the day. Ten months ago, I re-injured my neck, and I thought, you know what, I need my life back. I made the appointment for the console, and within probably the first month, I started to feel like myself again. Our therapies are not only different, they're very effective. They not only relieve pain, but they restore motion so you can get your life back. Visit Painsolver.com or call 844-200-PAIN today. Ross's Sports Shop is family-owned and well-known as the fishing pros in Price County. Book one of our professional guides to learn the tactics that are proven fish catchers in our area. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV pool, darts, and more. It's Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. a w is your home for all-American food. Famous root beer made fresh daily, burgers, hand-breaded chicken tenders, sweets, and treats. Open daily in Phillips. Right now on News Watch 12 today, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services announces people 65 and older will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine here in the Badger State beginning Monday. We'll have the details. Plus. It's chilly outside this morning and the winds are also picking up. Your full forecast is coming up. And I'm honored. I'm truly honored to be your next president and commander in chief. And today, America Your will local have news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning. I'm Marissa Silvis with Peter Dubois, and you are looking at a live shot of the National Mall in Washington, D.C. on this inauguration day. And we are just hours away from regime change in America. At midday, shortly after President Trump leaves Washington, Joe Biden will be taking the oath of office as the next commander in chief. NBC's Tracy Potts is at the Capitol steps where today's inauguration signals a new era for the nation. In just a few hours under the tightest security this nation has ever seen, Joe Biden will be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States. And I'm honored. I'm truly honored to be your next president and commander in chief. Last night, the Bidens with Vice President-elect Kamala Harris and her husband gazed nostalgically across the National Mall, lit up to honor more than 400,000 people who lost their battle with COVID-19. For many months, we have grieved by ourselves. Tonight, we grieve and begin healing together. It's important to do that as a nation. Aides say Biden's inaugural speech will focus on unity. President Trump is expected to make remarks at a red carpet military send-off this morning. In a videotaped farewell message, he sends good wishes to the new administration and takes a final victory lap. I stand before you truly proud of what we have achieved together. Overnight, the president pardoned and commuted sentences for nearly 150 people, including rappers, Democrats, and former chief strategist Steve Bannon, but not himself, his family, or his attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Donald Trump was a, a stain on our country. So in any event, he's gone. Having lost support from a key Republican ally over this month's Capitol attack. The mob was fed lies. They were provoked by the president and other powerful people. Biden is pledging to get to work this afternoon. Tracy Potts, NBC News at the U.S. Capitol. And of course, we'll have complete coverage on Newswatch 12 throughout the day on that inauguration. But back here in our area, Marissa, uh, just extremely cold as we walk outside this morning. 
Exactly. We thought it was cold yesterday, uh, but today even colder. So for more on that, let's head right on over to our weather center. And Devin Biggs in for a first check of our forecast. And Devin, those temperatures feeling even more frigid because of the wind out there. Yeah, the temperature is already chilly enough this morning, but you add the wind to that, ugh, it just feels a little bit more chilly out there. So you'll want to bundle up today, avoid frostbite, 30 minutes or less is as, is as fast as that can happen. But the temperatures are done with their nosedive thanks to the clouds. Let's show you that right now where the clouds are starting to move in from northwest to southeast. That is helping us out to keep the temperatures from falling. So we'll call it a mostly cloudy day for us. But man, look at this. Temperatures below zero. We haven't seen these in a while. And temperatures pretty much everywhere. It's just chilly out there this morning. And these winds making it feel even more chilly out of the southwest going towards the northeast. 5 to 10 miles per hour, even a little more gusty over in Ashland. They're reporting a 16 mile per hour sustained wind. Here's that bus stop forecast for you today. A measly one degree. Some of you may be below zero under partly the mostly cloudy skies as you get the kids off to of school. So definitely want to make sure to bundle the kids up. And as they come home, 19 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. You might think that's a typo, but the high temperature will not get hit till later on in the evening period tonight. Peter? Thanks, Devin. On Tuesday, Governor Tony Evers reinstated the mask mandate in Wisconsin, extending it until March 20th. Evers also signed a new public health emergency executive order that designates the Wisconsin Department of Health Services as the lead agency in the response to the ongoing pandemic. The last mask mandate did expire on Tuesday, and the Supreme Court is currently looking into a lawsuit that challenges the mandate. Governor Evers said that as we work to get more people around the state vaccinated, we have to work together to stop the spread of COVID-19 today by wearing our masks. And on Tuesday, the U.S. as a whole passed 400,000 all-time deaths from COVID-19. That's according to the latest numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Wisconsin itself has reported about 5,500 deaths related to the virus. And on Tuesday, Oneida County alone announced four more deaths. That's 53 in Oneida County for the pandemic. On Tuesday, the department reporting 42 new deaths across the state, which is roughly on our average for the week. And the state encourages everyone to look at the seven day average to limit the effects of day to day fluctuation fluctuations. That seven day average for number of new cases has been dropping for 10 straight days now, including about 1,500 new cases reported yesterday. Hospitalization numbers are also slowly trending down. The department reporting right now 82 people in our 12 county north central Wisconsin region in the hospital. They say 20 of whom are in the ICU. Taking a closer look at our local numbers, the Oneida County Health Department reports eight new cases, its active total at 101. Price County reported 10 new cases, one new case in Forest County and Langlade County, nine new cases reported in Lincoln County. Since Friday, Marathon County reported 151 new cases. Its active total is nearly 1,100. 16 new cases in Portage County, its active total at 150. Vilas, Iron, Clark, and Wood Counties did not report. The State Department of Health Services has announced everyone in Wisconsin over age 65 will be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine starting on Monday. DHS officials say prioritizing the older population will help save lives. The numbers have shown that demographic is significantly more likely to be hospitalized or worse if they catch COVID-19. However, the health department cautioned how quickly they can vaccinate people depends on how many doses they receive from the federal government. There are about 700,000 people over the age of 65 in the Badger State. And right now, the state receives about 70,000 doses of first dose vaccines every week. Frontline health care workers, those in long term care facilities, police and fire personnel are all eligible for the vaccine in Wisconsin right now. Many areas will begin planning vaccination clinics in the near future. And to sign up for your vaccine, you can contact your county's health department. To date, almost 250,000 doses of the vaccine have been administered in Wisconsin, including about 8,000 on Monday. The Department of Health Services reporting about 40,000 people in the state have completed their series. That means they've received their second shot as well. And the new age requirement comes as Aspirus is beginning to ramp up their own facilities to begin community vaccinations. So far, Aspirus says they've distributed about 7,000 doses across the state. The clinic is currently in the planning period with county health officials figuring out how they can best distribute vaccine doses to the public. We anticipate having to um, 
really help, you know, the health department that they probably will not have the ability to vaccinate a large amount. We know what our county's um, demographics look like and, and we'll need to plan on that, um, you know, those kind of numbers. Much like they mentioned, Aspirus says getting enough doses for the community may take some time. However, to make sure that this distribution is done safely and given to as many people as possible, Aspirus will be expanding their clinic hours moving forward. A Wisconsin pharmacist is accused of trying to spoil dozens of vials of COVID-19 vaccine has been charged with attempted property damage. Online court uh, records indicate Stephen Brandenburg was charged on Tuesday in Ozaki County Circuit Court. He pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors have warned more serious charges could follow if tests show the Moderna vaccine doses were ruined. Investigators believe Brandenburg intentionally removed 57 vials from a refrigerator at Advocate Aurora Health in Grafton. Detectives say Brandenburg is an admitted conspiracy theorist who thought the vaccines would mutate people's DNA. The vials contain enough doses to inoculate more than 500 people. A one person died on Tuesday when his snowmobile fell through the ice on Catfish Lake in the town of Lincoln. According to the Vilas County Sheriff's Office, the snowmobiler left the marked trail and drove onto a section of the lake that had some thin ice and an open section of water. Emergency rescue personnel were able to locate the snowmobiler. He was rushed to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Authorities have arrested a woman in connection with the riot at the U.S. Capitol. And this tops our news making national headlines this morning. Federal investigators say that 22-year-old Riley June Williams surrendered to authorities in her home state of Pennsylvania. Williams, seen in this video in a green shirt and a brown jacket, has been charged with illegally entering the Capitol and disorderly conduct after her former significant other turned her in. FBI officials say a caller claiming to be a former romantic partner of Williams said that friends showed him a video of her taking a laptop computer or a hard drive from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. Pelosi's deputy chief of staff later confirmed that a laptop only used for presentations was taken from a conference room. Restrictions tighten in the airspace above and around Washington, D.C. for President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration today. The FAA posting the modifications to the Washington Special Flight Rules Area and also Washington Metropolitan Flight Restriction Zone for pilots on its website. The restrictions will start at 8 Eastern time this morning and end at 10 p.m. The FAA's flight advisory warns of varying degrees of penalties for pilots who ignore those restrictions, ranging from administrative action to criminal charges to the use of deadly force if it's determined that the aircraft poses an imminent security threat. In one of his last acts as president, Donald Trump issued a score of pardons and commutations. In total, there were 73 pardons and 70 commutations. Included in the list was his former chief strategist, Steve Bannon. Bannon was accused of defrauding millions of dollars in a fundraising campaign purportedly aimed at supporting Trump's border wall. Trump also granted clemency to rappers Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. Lil Wayne, whose real name is Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., pleaded guilty to illegal gun possession in December. He was facing up to 10 years in prison as he awaited sentencing later this month. Kodak Black, whose real name is Bill Capri, was arrested multiple times for gun, drug, and sexual misconduct charges. His most recent offenses were drug and weapons charges in 2019. Well, coming up in sports, there was a lot of local action around the Northwoods last night. Our Griffin Stroin will join us to break down some of local basketball and hockey scores when we're back in two minutes. Experience comfort that you never had before. Experience dependability. Experience Marcel's. For decades, more homes in Wisconsin have been burning bright with the warmth and glow of a heat and glow fireplace from Marcel's. For over three generations, from design to complete installation and the best warranty in the industry, we'll provide you the fireplace experience you've always dreamed of. Stop in today and start enjoying your hearthwarming experience with heat and glow on Marcel's. We look forward to you being a part of our family. Colgate Optic White Renewal removes 10 years of yellow stains. That's like all the way back to 2010. Their jeans, their leggings, their jeggings. 
Whoa. Remove 10 years of yellow stains with Colgate Optic White Renewal. Get your home improvement projects done with help from Menards. Timber Ridge Click Vinyl Plank Flooring by Shaw has an attached pad and is a snap to install. It's waterproof, pet-proof, and kid-proof. $229 a square foot. Give your walls a new look with Zinzer Smart Coat. It's an advanced paint and primer in one with ultra-smooth coverage, superior adhesion, and exceptional washability. Interior flat is $25.98 a gallon. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. Replace your problem windows and save big with this limited time offer and attractive financing. Call Renewal by Anderson today. Olson Solar Energy wants you to know that there's a lot to consider when you think about solar energy. Consider a lower or no energy bill. There's a federal tax credit as well as other rebates and incentives to consider. You may not have considered that a solar energy system increases property value without increasing property taxes and works for homes and businesses. Isn't it time to consider a free evaluation? Call 579-0474 or go to olsonsolarenergy.com. Welcome to Bell Tower Residence. Residents lovingly call Bell Tower home. I can go to church five days a week. It's all under one roof. You don't have to go outside for everything. It's a joy. Yeah, because of her, that's why I'm here. <laughs> we went to school together. <laughs> to the one-room school. The staff are very, very kind, attentive, and it's almost like being at home. Bell Tower Residence, 1500 O'Day Street, Merrill. And welcome back. So clouds are starting to move in from the northwest to the southeast as a low-pressure system up in Canada. It's heading in our direction, moving pretty quickly. And guess what it's bringing? Wind with it this morning. We have high pressure right here, low pressure up in parts of Canada. You put the two together, and boom, you got gusty wind starting to move in this morning. What I plotted here on the map is what we call the isobars, and this shows you how stacked the pressure gradient is. So in other words, this tells us how windy it is. So we have a warm front right here, and right there we're starting to see the winds move from southwest to northeast, and look where we're at, right on the edge of that. And the winds are already starting to pick up in a few spots this morning, where wind gusts can reach up to 40 miles per hour in a few spots from the southwest to the north and east. Again, these are just the gusts, not sustained gusts up to 40 miles per hour at times. Sustained winds will be up there too. Maybe a little bit of a break for a little while in a few spots before the winds pick up again. Thursday, low pressure system moves away from us and we'll have a northwest and southeasterly flow. So we'll have to watch for a little bit of lake effect snow that will be heading in our direction too. But man, look at these temperatures this morning. One below in Eagle River, two below in Rhinelander. Now Goose Egg and Phillips, the winds are starting to pick up and stir the atmosphere up. So yeah, make sure to bundle up as it will be pretty chilly. And when you get wind chills like this where they're well below zero, even in into the teens below zero. That is perfect conditions for frostbite to form on your hands, for example. So make sure to bundle up. It can occur in 30 minutes or less in a situation, and we definitely do not need that happening. But temperatures, your high temperature will hit 30 above zero today. That will occur more in the evening period as the winds help to stir up the air and bring in warmer air from the southwest across the southern parts of the states in our direction. And that will continue into Thursday before we start cooling off throughout the day. Before we hit 10 degrees on Friday, that will be a rude wake-up call again. Then we'll be done with this roller coaster as temperatures look to stabilize Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Average high is 21 degrees. We'll be relatively close to that. So a future cast for today, clouds sticking around and the windy conditions too. We may have a little bit of snow from time to time. That will taper off early this evening. And otherwise, just clouds tonight, maybe mainly for our northern counties. Clearer skies for our southern counties before everyone has clouds. Another wave of energy moves in from this front. Then after that, once the front moves through right here, this is when things really begin to cool off. And then some lake effects you know, will we'll trail right behind it. So for today, 30 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and windy. We have southwest winds sustained at around 15 to 35 miles per hour. For tonight, 23 degrees, snow showers early, then mostly cloudy late with that west wind at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Your Northwoods furniture and mattress seven day forecast. Look at this, so we're dry today. And then some snow on Thursday, a slight chance of it on Friday. Some very weak systems moving through. We're watching Sunday and Monday. Chances start in a week and a little bit, but we'll have a little wave moving in by that point. Marissa? All righty, thanks so much, Devin. Well, so far, so good when it comes to the high school winter sports season. A lot of teams have been able to play most of their games, and last night was no different.
News Australia's Griffin Stroin has some highlights from three different local games. I know the Packers are the talk of the town right now, but we still have a lot of great local teams duking it out, and we had a busy night last night, so let's jump right into it. We got Tomahawk taking on Tigerton. Uh, we're going to go to the first half, and this one, Tigers are going to force the steal, and they're going the other way with it. Elizabeth Robbins finishes it on the other end. Tigerton up early. Now, some great ball movement here from the Tigers. Look at this bounce pass inside. Adrian Bradley, Brady for two. Tigers are up five. Here come the hatchets, though. We're going to good pass inside. Kicked out immediately to Madeline Marino. She gets her defender in the air and hits the shot. Tomahawk down three. Tigers were just too good on offense, though, in this one. Another great pass here to Robbins for the bucket. Tigerton defeats Tomahawk 44 to 33. Some more girl basketball scores from around the area. Three Lakes continues to dominate, especially at home. Blue Jays hosted Crivets and won 66 to 13. Rhinelander was at home against Ashland. Hodags beat the Ordockers 56 to 43. Rhinelander's Rebecca Lawrence reached 1,000 career points in the win. Congratulations to her. Now some boys basketball action. Action Rib Lake at Crandon. First half, the very first play of the game. Andrew Woody finds his guy Logan Blomberg. Pulls up for three, no hesitation, nothing but net. Rib Lake up early, but the Cardinals can shoot it too. Devin Hedson's corner three is good. Crandon only down two. Later, it's Blomberg returning the favor to Woody. His three-pointer is good. Rib Lake is now up five. Crandon was scrappy all night, though. Cardinals forced to steal. Hedson's hit in the deck, and Connor Coyo is going the other way with it. Converts the tough layup. Rib Lake, though, goes on the road and takes down Crandon 53 to 43. More boys basketball scores. Mosiny hosting Anago. The Red Robins can't come away with the road win. Mosiny dominates this one 80 to 44. And in Medford, the Raiders hosting Lakeland Union. Thunderbirds are no match in this one. Medford wins by 23. To wrap it all up, Rhinelander boys hockey hosting Medford. Third period. Hodags are up big already and they're adding to their lead. Joe Schneider. Rifles this one home. His fourth goal of the game, Rhinelander is up nine. And then minutes later, the Raiders turn it over and Carter Dettin makes them pay his second goal of the year. Rhinelander wins this one big, 13 to one. And that is all I have for you this beautiful morning. Back to the morning crew. Thanks so much, Griffin. Well, coming up, we'll take a moment to tell you how you can celebrate National Cheese Lovers Day. But first, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for chicken and wild rice soup. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. When it comes to foods that we crave, nothing is as welcoming as a big bowl of soup. And when that soup is chicken soup, all the better. So let me share with you a recipe that's a warm you up favorite, as well as a way to help you get rid of the winter blues. We start by placing a whole chicken that's been cut into quarters into a large soup pot, along with some cut up carrots, celery, and onions. Then we add some water. Yes, <laughs> this is gonna make a big pot of soup, but don't worry, cause it freezes great. For the part that gives this all its flavor, we add some salt, pepper, and a couple of spoonfuls of chicken base. And if you're not familiar with chicken base, it's a super rich take on bouillon that is, let's say, spoonable. And you can find this in the soup aisle. After this comes to a boil, we'll turn it down and let it simmer until the chicken is fall apart tender. After we remove the bones from the chicken, we chunk it up and back into the soup it goes, along with some wild rice. That's all there is to it. What we end up with is a big pot of soup that is packed with so much goodness it's practically a meal by itself. To get this easy recipe, all you have to do is go to our website and look for chicken and wild rice soup. I know you'll be glad you did. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a warm and cozy way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. Phillips Winterfest is almost here. Start the fun with the Price County Tavern League Tour. Win up to $1,100 in cash prizes. Shop participating businesses and register to win gift baskets. Enjoy the candlelight walk Friday night. On Saturday, register for the ice fishing contest with potential $1,000 cash prize in five categories. Saturday's evening events include the snowmobile parade and fireworks. Win up to $1,500 in the Winterfest raffle. 
Welcome to Winterfest. Stone Innovations, home of Wisconsin's largest granite and quartz selection, is now featuring the best stone shopping experience in the state. Our brand new indoor facility allows for a home-like, comfortable atmosphere. Choose from hand-picked stone from around the world and select the perfect look for your dream kitchen in the best lighting possible. Then sit down with our free design services to customize the look of your kitchen. Our projects come with a lifetime warranty. Stone Innovations, Wisconsin's granite and quartz leader. Appleton, Rhinelander, Clover, Madison. You just can't put a price tag on all this. And yet, we did. But with a new machine from CF Moto, it's surprisingly low because all the features you need come standard, like power steering, custom paint, and a powerful winch, all at a price you won't believe. For all your off-road needs, American Marine, Shawno. My name is Sheldon, I'm from Wassa. I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with a deteriorating spine. And finally, I couldn't hardly function no more. So I'm sitting and watching TV and I see Dr. Justin Sherr come on there. I got right in the car and drove right down to his office. I started treatment that very same day. And that brings us here today. I'm totally pain free. Can't thank the doctor enough. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. You're watching News Watch 12 today with Marissa Silvas, Peter Dubois, and Devin Biggs. Welcome back. Grab the fondue set or order a cheese pizza with a side of mac and cheese. That's right, because Wednesday or today, America is celebrating all things cheesy. January 20th is National Cheese Lovers Day. We don't know how making cheese all started, but the earliest record of gooey goodness dates back to 5500 BCE. But cheese has a special place in Americans' hearts and diets. It certainly does, and if you don't believe us, just look at the National Day calendar. This is just one of 18 other cheese-specific days honoring cheese in some form or fashion. There is National String Cheese Day in September, National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day in April, and of course, Cheese Curd Day in October. And you guys, I think that I pretty much celebrate all of those. <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear my poor dog, Walter, he's sitting by my feet right now, and as soon as I said cheese, he got up and started whining, because he is a fan of cheese too. Who isn't? Oh my gosh. I, th yeah, I think we all are. Uh, today I think I'm going to make myself a big <laughs> thick grilled cheese with some tomato soup to warm me up. Yeah, anything to Perfect. just keep you warm at this rate because yeah, it is chilly out there. Maybe, yeah, take advantage of that and uh, yeah, may have some cheese to try to warm up too. Speaking of that, here's a trivia question for today. So true or false? So there's multiple temperature scales. Te there's Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. We're going to talk about Kelvin here. Temperatures in the Kelvin degree scale can fall below zero. True or false? We'll explain when we come back. Take a road trip to Cabin Creations during the Phillips Winterfest celebration or shop online anytime at cabincreationswi.com. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram too. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV pool, darts, and more. It's Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. Here we are, your first trip to Monaco Popcorn and Puffs. Cheesy caramel? Cheesy caramel, and I'd like to have some of the Dan's Marvelous Ice Cream also. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. KNS Fuel Injection and Service Center is your source for all vehicle repairs and maintenance. We have the experience and knowledge to get you back up and running in a timely manner. 
from diesels to cars and trucks. Our ASE certified mechanics can restore the dependability of your vehicle. KNS has the OEM diagnostic equipment and tools to repair your vehicle right the first time. Visit KNS Fuel Injection and Service Center in Weston today. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. When searching for your next truck, you want your truck to last. Get the job done right with a Lens truck. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs, over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. We got the trucks. A&W is your home for all-American food. Famous root beer made fresh daily, burgers, hand-breaded chicken tenders, sweets, and treats. Open daily in Phillips. Hi, I'm Jenna with Miracle Ear of Park Falls in Medford. If you are struggling to hear your favorite news and entertainment shows, come and see me for your free hearing test. Good morning. Coming up on today, our team is fanned out across Washington, D.C. to bring you every aspect of Inauguration Day Live, the massive security, the history that will be made, the starkly different celebrations this year. Plus, Jenna, she'll have an exclusive conversation with four of Joe Biden's granddaughters. This morning, the surprising things they want you to know about their pop and the advice they've received from former first daughters, Sasha and Malia Obama. We'll have that and a lot more when we are joined by you live from New York and Washington. We'll get started in just a bit right here on Today. And there is no birthday club winner for today, but here's the information for you to enter if you'd like to do so. That's right. And to enter that special someone or coworker into birthday club, just head on over to WJFW.com at least two weeks before their special day. That's where you can enter their name and upload a photo for us to air. You can send that to the station as well. Attention Northwoods Birthday Club, 3217 County Road G in Rhinelander. And true or false, temperatures in a Kelvin degree scale can fall below zero. Marissa, what do you think? No clue, but I'll say false. You say false? I'm going to go with her and say false too, Devin. It is actually false. It's absolute zero, which means we cannot fall below that. In a point of reference, that is minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now we're at 255 degrees Kelvin right now. But over the next several days in Fahrenheit, temperatures in the 30s and teens. All righty, definitely bundle up out there today. That's right, and thank you for joining us. We'll end with a live look at the nation's capital and the, the mall of uh, the National Mall as pre preparations for inauguration. Weather Watch 12, weather from where you live. From NBC News, this is a special report.